Welcome to Origin Uncut, a show where we take you behind the scenes of a company bringing apparel manufacturing back to America. Ah, that's it! <laughs> we are on our way to our North Carolina factory. We call it the stage gate meeting. So this is when all the departments come together and product shows us what they've been up to. So this one, they will be showing us all the upcoming product for fall 2024. So we're pretty excited. Mm -hmm. You know what the best part of this day is going to be, Jay? Look, come here, come here, come here. Ha! Ha! Hallelujah! <laughs> Look at that shit. Breakfast. <laughs> Breakfast of champions. I mean, if you eat like 12 of them, you might get a gram of protein. <laughs> Otherwise, you're just getting, you know, sugar. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Breakfast. <laughs> Dude, I'm throwing on the Canadian tuxedo right now. Right. Yeah. Okay. That's kind of badass, right? I think it looks great. <laughs> down here in North Carolina, it's been a bit since I've been down here. And just walking around and seeing all the improvements that have been made here in the factory, that's just helping everything across the board. People have better places to work now. They got better tools to do the job. And you can see it when you start looking at the at the stuff that's being made, everything from the jeans to the pants, jean jackets, everything getting dialed. It's awesome to see. Now is the most important time to call something out that will affect what you guys do to help bring this to market. It's not gonna hurt my feelings. In fact, it'll hurt my feelings more if I found out later that you had something to say and you didn't, and then we have to chase it. Uh, even though Fall Winter 24 is, is the primary focus, it's gonna lead into thoughts and ideas for 2025. And so we'll whiteboard those. It doesn't matter who's got the comment, if it's a good idea, let's get it out. So with the double knee, we introduced the Moab double knee the work denim double knee. Now we have the main canvas double knee. It's a brand consistent look. There's little details on here, like a place to put your knife. We're actually gonna reinforce this with nylock overlays on there, just to keep that extra durability and that story in there. Where do we position this pant? So you're wearing Moab pants. I mean, I may ask a different question. Who is wearing Moab pants double knee and who is wearing main canvas pants and double knee and what activities are they doing? because we want to come to market as best in class for that whoever that guy is. The first thing we bring to him as we enter workwear is a best in class option that doesn't take away from what he's used to, but only adds to. It's the main canvas jacket. Now this one we decided to line with essential fleece. We left the lining out of the sleeve so you don't have that irritation yeah. pull and all the sleeves sticking yeah. together. It's the same fabric that's on the oh, bottom. Yeah, right. Well, we finally yeah, got yeah, baby flyer in an orange jacket. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how is John, the film model. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of you, or most of you, may have not seen it, but this is the work denim double knee. Light work, so this is the Delta Flex double knee. Then you have your Moab double knee. True work. Casual work. True work. Okay, casual and job site. So casual and job site. There you go. I think we need to just lock that in the What we're saying is we're going to make a move towards workwear, made in America workwear. We're allowed to be in workwear. We cut down a freaking forest in the woods and made a built factory. We're allowed to be there. I, I would go way beyond we're allowed to be there. Yeah. We, we need, to, need, to, be we there, need to be there. And the world expects us to be there. Yeah. 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 100%. Very nice. Well, it's a fitted. So this is made to just fit over a t shirt, not fleece. I wear that bad boy all day, every day. I mean, yeah. it's lighter weight, Delta Flex, where the other one is sized. Yeah, a little more room. Let's face it, this is the way to go <laughs> when it comes to a jean jacket. First proto of the flannel. One call out on here is it was sewn. It was cut and sewn inside out. <laughs> God, there it is. Yeah. Sweet. I, mean, I don't like the logo placement of that though, Adam. I don't love it either. I don't love it either. Like this was just to try and keep it from like being like on his rib, but we could do that. Boom, done. 
Or we could Love do, it. Or we could do this. Mm. Either one. I like, I like that either one. one. Yeah. I like either that one, one, but right there on the bottom. I like this less settle. Yeah. Like, you know. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. You know? So uh, we fought this between hood and no hoods. Yeah. It was always yeah. a good Yeah, I looked at that the other day on, on Pat Patagucci, and <laughs> they have a hood and a no hood. This is, to me, the layer that doesn't need a hood is this one. So do we, do we keep the hood? Or do we go with no hood because you wear a hoodie underneath? You decide. We'll, we'll know in an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Well, what's normal in apparel is what the brands did is they decided that the, the product was more important than the manufacturing. And basically what we're saying is the manufacturing, the people are the soul of the product versus just having product for the sake of product. You should be putting out something that you believe will last a lifetime, not putting something out you want to end up in the trash, in a landfill, you know, and then like go get something new the next year. It's not new, it's not original, it's just how we used to think about things as a society. We used to think about building quality product that'll last a lifetime. Now we think about it, you know, let's build product that will fail or that they're going to need new shit next year. So we or can... it's just a logo and a design. Exactly. Yeah, let me grab a go. Yeah. This is like pretty quiet for a shell, huh? I mean, this is this is pretty badass, guys. Like, it really is. That's a look right there. <laughs> this is uh, That's a Louisiana look. This, <laughs> this is what they put so it doesn't feel like sticky on your skin. Like a trash bag. Yeah. Mm. It's a micro mesh, just enough to soak on top of your skin. Now we're gonna get into fleece, essential fleece crew. Essential fleece short, cool. essential <coughs> fleece jogger, nice. and it goes with the essential fleece hoodies that are already in market. It's going pretty well. I've been through some of these, but they've been ugly. So yeah. this one's good. Anybody need a refresh on Burr? Hang tight. Yeah, no, I remember. Like, this is like this is cool. this is freaking huge, and this for for like hunt. I'll be wearing this 365 days a year. It's so light and smooth and cool and quick drying. Yeah, I'll be I can feel it. it's hitting my knee. <laughs> Get his face. <laughs> oh, you feel they're done. It cools. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> you can kind of feel it immediately cool that part of my leg. Cool. It's a cool thing, isn't that not crazy? That is crazy. We have the Moab short coming for one. The nylock short. That's what I'm not living. And the nano rip shorts. Because one is for Nogi and one's for train that has pockets. Yeah, so this is the um, fully stitched down <coughs> Goodyear Wealth with the um, Mokto construction. I love, well, very oh, good. Love basically that. the way Adam had it sketched, which yeah, is the, yeah. 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 the natural stitch. That's my next I feel like for us, two sew lines is better than one, always. Yeah. If there's two stitches on the uppers, I think we should have two around the welt too. I think for consistency and would be good. So this is a good way to finish. Yeah. We need top, we need top stitching. Yeah, I would definitely top stitch the shoulders. And that'll make it more premium and elevated. Our next phase of business is to be best in class. Like product. All the little details, all the shit, like we have to be sticklers about the details. Like the logos, where we're using them, how big they are, the sew lines, making sure we're overbuilding them, the triple felt seams, the gusseted crotches, the pocket depths, the bar tacks, the reinforcements, like all that shit that makes us us, we've got to make sure that we're staying really focused on being best in class. Look, I've, I've been wearing Origin for probably a really long time at this point, but I've noticed just in the past like six months how much better everything is getting. You can see it, I can feel it when I put them on. Like if our product isn't awesome, they'll buy it once and then they'll be like, well, it was cool, I supported America, but I, I want something that's a little bit cheaper and a little bit, you know, 
So, so they'll walk away. We gotta write a good book, we gotta make a good product. And part of the key to that, and that's why I'm so happy that we're sitting here now, I used to get stuff that was in full production. <laughs> it was in full production, and I'd get it. And I'd get it, and I'd be like, cool, let's, hey, what about this and this? And they'd be like, oh, it's, it's, we've already made 18,000 pairs. <laughs> we can now get a sample, because of you all, we can get a sample, and we can actually test it. When you write a book, guess how many drafts you make? Hundreds of drafts, hundreds of rewrites. We're gonna have the time. To, to do good iterative steps on all these products. That being said, just like writing a book, you gotta commit and you gotta have the discipline to sit down and go, okay, what mistakes did I make? And someone's gotta push that and drive it. And if we don't have someone to push that and drive it right now, guess what's gonna happen? You're gonna reach out to me in like three months and be like, yep, here's the final production room. And I'm say, well, I wanted to tell you about this and I didn't tell you. So we need to make sure that we continue to have these meetings and continue to see what this iterative process looks like. I really appreciate the effort that everyone's making. It is, it's huge. 20, 24 and 25 are gonna be, it's gonna be like the turning point in a battle. Mm. You know, it's gonna be like the turning point in a war. We're gonna start to see that momentum shift. We're gonna start to see victory on the other side. So thank you. I snuck a cookie into Jocko's jacket, look. Right, I mean, oh, we can be better than that. Yeah. Sugar, cola, lime.